All right, time for another Fibble. This is the game. It's just like Wordle, but on every row, one of the clues is a lie. They're starting us with laity, which is interesting. Um, I suspect that that's a word that not everyone would be familiar with. So if that's you, I don't know, maybe everybody knows what it is. But in case some of you are not familiar with this word, uh, basically, if you've ever heard of layman or lay people or, you know, the phrase, put that in layman's terms, um, a lay person or a layman or whatever, the laity, are basically, uh, it's often used in the church to mean like the non-clergy, just kind of the normal people, but it can also be, be used outside of the church to mean like non-professionals or whatever. So in layman's terms would be like, okay, put it in terms of somebody that doesn't know about this thing. So maybe talking to a doctor, you'd say put it in layman's terms, meaning don't use all the medical jargon. There you go. So, so that's what laity means. It's basically the people that aren't the professionals or in the church, it would be the non-clergy people. So uh, at any rate, that's just the starting word. Uh, we need a different word. I obviously want to reuse the L, A, and T. Um, what, what would be good to do there? Um, how about, um, mm, I was gonna do lasts. Uh, repeating the letter isn't always great, but I, I don't know, let's just go for it. Okay, so one of, the, one of the two A's is a lie, one of the two T's is a lie, therefore, those are the only two lies on those two rows, and everything else has to be true. So the double S wasn't really helpful, but it also didn't confuse us, so whatever, I'll take it. Okay, so either there's an A there, and there's a T, or there's an A somewhere else, and there's no T. So I'm gonna assume there's an A there. Let's do something maybe A-L-T? Can we do something like that? What would we do? Um... Or we could do, we could do something like vault, put the T in a different spot, let's go with that, okay. Okay, so one of these two A's is a lie, the second or the third. Whichever of those is a lie, well at least one, they could both be lies, I guess. But uh, either way, at least one of them is a lie. Whichever one is a lie, on that row everything else is true, which means the gray T is true on one of those two, therefore it has to, there has to be no T. So this is the lie, this is true, this is a lie, this is true. Uh, from there, we don't really know. Uh, I mean, if the V was the lie, then that would mean that you have the U, the A, and an L, and there's a V somewhere? I think that's gonna be tricky to do, but... I can't say it's... I mean, you could still have a V at the beginning, actually, so... But you'd have to have, like, something like this. Because you couldn't do, like, value or something, you know, because the A and the U wouldn't work. So I'm tempted to think that that's true. We know there's an L, so if it's the lie, then it's supposed to be green. Let's do, let's do usual. That's new spot for the A and the L. Repeat that U. We know there's no S, so if it comes up yellow or green, we'll know that's the lie. Okay, well, we know that's true. Ah, interesting. So... <sighs> Now, we did a double letter, so we have to be careful with that. But we know that these can't both be true, right? The U, the two U's here. One of those is a lie. For sure. Um, if they're both lies and there's no... So, oh, so, right. So, But beyond that, right, forget about the two U's here. Let's look at the two U's that we guessed here. For this to be true... This can't also be, basically they can't both be true. If this is true, then the first one has to be a lie. Because if they're both true, then it doesn't, this is not how it works, because you color the first of the two letters yellow. If they're, if neither one of them is green, and there's one of them in the word, you color the first one yellow. So they can't both be true. So if this one was true, this would be a lie. Which would mean there's two U's in the word. Whether that's supposed to be yellow or green, it would mean there's two U's in the word. So we would have two U's, an A and an L, and the, the green A would have to be true. This would be a lie. So the yellow L there would be true. So the two L's would both be true. So you'd have to have an L. I don't know how you're gonna do that. With the A there and an L not at the end, and you've got two U's that have to be like U, U at the beginning, it doesn't really work. So I don't think you can put two U's, which therefore means this one can't be true which means that one is a lie, which means everything else is true. Now that doesn't tell us about the green U, whether it's true or false. But we do know the rest of these are true. So, 
the A is fourth, which means which means the L can't be fourth, so this has to be true, right? Because we know we know that there is an L, and we know it's not fourth, therefore that L is true. So either there's no U, because this is a lie, or there's a U third and a V and an L second. It would have to be this. Or, or, yeah, that doesn't work. So I don't think, I don't think there can be a U. I think this is the lie, this is true. Okay, so we've got L second or third and an A fourth, and that's it. That's all we've got. So L A something, something like this maybe? Or, or it could be L E A something, something like uh, clear? Sure. Ooh, that was really good. That was really good. Okay, well, we know the A uh, is the lie because we know there's an A right there. So the rest of these are true. So it's clean. All right, there we go. Very nice. Well, if you are one of the usual laity that just watches me solve and doesn't actually do fibble yourself, I'm looking at you, Gail, <laughs> let me know if you thought this was a clean solve or not, I guess. And if you did solve today's fibble, let me know how it went for you. And of course, be sure to subscribe for more puzzles.